I'm Evan Haynes, and we're here with my project, The Tide House, in uh, Mayor Menino Park in Charlestown. When people come to see the Tide House, they'll see what looks like the interior of a triple-decker house, which is a pretty ubiquitous part of Boston's architecture. The entire uh, piece is covered in this layer of lime wash, which I consider to be kind of a, a metaphor for our whitewashing of the issue of affordable housing in the city of Boston. And so as the weather dissolves this whitewash, you begin to see what looks like the colors of a lived home and the kind of wear and tear that generations of people moving in and out of the space have created. So when it started, the top was completely white, which that is all getting kind of washed away by the rain and you're starting to see the, the paint colors beneath. And actually this is based off of my parents' house where I grew up. One of the main focuses of the Tide House is to show a really visceral uh, version of what climate change is going to do in the city of Boston. So you can see along the side of the house these uh, sort of salt and mud deposits of future floods. And you can come over to here and see uh, the actual year that these flood levels are predicted. So down here we have 2030, which is pretty close at hand. Public art is a really important part of walking through the city, and especially when it calls to attention the built environment that you might not already notice. Where we are right now is just around the corner from the largest amount of Charlestown's affordable housing stock, which is all directly on the water. So I do hope that it starts to just plant a seed in people's heads about, you know, like, we are in a changing world that is going to be dangerous for a lot of people if we don't have substantive change into how the city works and how the city protects especially its most vulnerable people. I think this accelerator program really changed how I think about approaching art and kind of my ambition. Half of the group is very knowledgeable people from now and there who know exactly how these processes work, know what is going to be a roadblock before you even get to it, and then the other half are just idea generators. So kind of having that support from the Accelerator program to say like, no, you can do this, like you can definitely make this happen, is fully the reason that this project was able to come to fruition, which was really exciting. Mm -hmm.